In this lesson, we'll be going over the object selection tool, which is really useful when we want to make an accurate selection. So this is part of Photoshop's recently released Photoshop 2020 or 2020, and uh, this is a really helpful tool. If you like this tutorial, be sure to subscribe. I will be adding a lot more Photoshop tutorials really soon. So I have an image here, a portrait, and typically we can go to quick selection tool. We can click and hold on here and go to the magic wand tool, but the new object selection tool has been placed above those actually. Normally we can just click select subject up there on the options panel, regardless of whether we have quick selection tool selected, magic wand, or object selection tool, and that can do a pretty good job if I just click that, and it makes a selection. Now we can go to select, deselect, control or command D, or just choose the rectangular marquee tool and click anywhere to deselect, either way. What this tool does though, is it helps us make selections like that, but we can guide Photoshop a little bit more. So I'll show you what I mean. What we can do is go ahead and, and select the object selection tool, either press W on the keyboard or select it up here. And let's just click and drag around the subject. And that does a pretty good job. There's a small area down here that we would need to subtract from the selection. What we can do is press Alt or Option on the keyboard, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and click and drag. Sometimes it doesn't do that good of a job though. We can use this in conjunction with other selection tools of course, like the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and so on. Or we can keep using the object selection tool. And when we press Alt, we subtract from the selection. When we press the shift key, it will add to it, just like some of the other selection tools. Or up here on the options panel, we can select this right here, subtract from selection, and we can also click that to add to selection. It's just like holding shift, or just like holding alt or option. So either way. And this intersects with the selection, but the default is it's going to add a new selection. So if we don't press any keyboard shortcut, and we have this one selected by default, it's going to make a new selection each time. So if I select that area, or if I just select the beanie, for example, or right around the beanie, it does a pretty good job. So we can use this by itself or in conjunction with other selection techniques to adjust the edge. But it helps us guide Photoshop when we're trying to select something pretty quickly. And it's another option here in our quick selection tools, including the magic wand tool, the quick selection tool that we actually click and drag an area, or the object selection tool. Now, instead of the default rectangle up here, the rectangular marquee look here, we can also go to lasso tool. So I will press control or command plus, and then press shift to click and drag around this area. And we'll see, we need to adjust this a little bit. So I could use another tool, or I could just keep using this same uh, object selection tool. So I'm going to press shift on the keyboard and click and drag. And I'm just going to tell Photoshop, I actually want all this to be included in there. It does a pretty good job. And if you're having trouble with it like this, what we can do is just switch over to the regular lasso tool. All right, because the other one's using an algorithm and trying to figure out. So if we want to really manage it a little bit more manually, uh, when we're telling Photoshop where to select, we do need to switch to one of those other ones. But that does a pretty good job. And from here, of course, we can press Control or Command J to duplicate it on a new layer, but then we wouldn't have uh, a mask. I do suggest using a mask instead. So just click right here, add layer mask, and that will mask everything out. And then we can still adjust the edge. Right, So we can paint white in on that mask, and it'll bring it in. And of course, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command Z to undo. We can paint black in, and it will adjust the edge. I'm just overdoing to show the concept. All right, So if I want to get rid of that mask, again, I can Shift click it, and that will deactivate it. I can also Alt click it, or Option click it, to uh, show the mask in black and white or we can click and drag it to the trash can and hit delete and get rid of that mask. Now this can be used in conjunction with select and mask as well. So I can press select and mask right away or I can make a selection first. Let's remember to go back up to rectangle and click and drag around the subject. And from here, once I made these adjustments down there so that it has a little bit better selection, we would press select and mask. 
and then it opens up this menu. Now we don't have to do that first. What we can do is just click select mask up here or, and notice I have a selection tool, that's why that option's there, or we can go to select and then select a mask or alt control R on the PC or option command R on the Mac. And in here we also have the object selection tool right here in our selected mask menu. So if I just click and drag around the subject, I'll tell Photoshop to select that area. And again, we can zoom in and adjust as needed. So down here, for example, we could use some of the other selection tools to really refine the edge there, make a selection, and adjust the edge of our selection and so on. So all these options up at the top, we have auto enhance, that just automatically enhances the selection edge. Depending on your computer, the processing power of your computer, it might slow it down, but you could try that. Uh, and samples all layers, that just samples all the colors of all the layers as if it's uh, you know, a flattened image, like a composite image. Um, by default, it shouldn't be checked because we're just dealing with one layer here and we just wanna make the selection relevant to that specific layer. But by default, the object subtract should be uh, checked there. And what does that mean? Well, I'll show you this example. Let's just say we wanted to select these carrots here. So I make the selection with the object selection tool. It does a pretty good job. Not quite on the edge there though. So we could adjust it, of course, if needed. And I can press shift and select more areas. Let's say I wanted to only select this sushi here. It does a pretty good job. So it's figuring out the edge of all that sushi and the carrots. Uh, again, if we wanted to subtract from it, we would press Alt and click and drag around, around it. And it doesn't quite get rid of all of it there. You can see there. Uh, so again, we can use the regular marquee tool in conjunction with this. All right. So now we have the sushi. You know, we could add a mask if we wanted. But object subtract, what that means is if I select these carrots here and I then press Alt or Option and I click and drag in the middle. Let me uncheck it first. Let's just say it's turned off. If I Alt and click and drag, all it does is subtract from that selection in the middle. By default, it is checked. And what that does is it figures out this negative space here. So I'll show you what I mean. With it unchecked, all it did was add a square or rectangle in the middle, right? If I alt, click and drag. But if that's selected and I click and drag, remember to press alt or option. And I just go around this area here. It figures out that, oh, you want to actually subtract this area here from the selection. All right. So that's the difference. All right, it finds and automatically subtracts an object inside a defined region. So Adobe uses this coffee cup handle or this mug handle here as the example, uh, but this as well hopefully uh, illustrates the concept of what object subtract option is. So again, if I set it to a rectangle up here and click and drag around these carrots, and I have to be pretty accurate if I have object subtract unselected and, or unchecked. So from there, if I use say the lasso tool and I click and drag holding alt, then I can take that area there and pop it out of there. Now, if I didn't have that selected up there as far as the lasso and I did rectangle, again, it's not going to be very helpful because it just pops out a rectangle or a square. So it's very important to have object subtract selected. Then we can just quickly alt or option click and drag and Photoshop uses that algorithm to figure out that we are wanting to remove that negative space there uh, from this selection. All right. So that is the object selection tool on the tools panel there. And hopefully this was informative. Thanks. Mm -hmm.